Hey there, hi there, and hello, my fellow entrepreneurs from around the world. How are you doing on this very fine day? Today, I'm talking about three ways to stand out from the crowd. And these are things that you can do even if you're an introvert like me. So <laughs> uh, I have some general ideas and then I have some specific stuff just for my fellow introverts on uh, how to work this into your business and uh, help you stand out from the crowd because we know how busy everything is online these days. <laughs> so before I dive in, I'm just going to introduce myself. I'm Tiffany from Tiffany G Studios. I am a client attraction specialist. I help coaches, consultants and service providers to stop stressing about finding clients and instead learn how to confidently attract them to you so that you can easily make money by being yourself. Now, if you are interested in my three secrets of client attraction, my free download with some great tips to get you started, stuff that doesn't have anything to do with marketing funnels and all that kind of stuff, then by all means, definitely type three secrets in the comments and I will uh, definitely send you through the info on how to uh, get that or if you've seen somebody's already done that you can click on the link but I'd love to hear from you as well uh, I'd love to hear from everyone and uh, yeah I check the comments quite regularly <laughs> it's really hot here in Australia by the way <laughs> and uh, uh, I've been recording a couple of videos in a row and and it's it's just hot <laughs> it's an Australian summer so let's dive into uh, what is on the plan today and that's three ways to stand out from the crowd number one is to don't sound like everyone else and i know you might be saying easy for you tiff you have that awesome australian accent which actually for me i was really paranoid about for a long time doing online business with my australian twang but now i've just decided that i can't do anything about it <laughs> um, i could try an american accent no i can't but I could do a bad one, but it's just, you know, people wouldn't vibe with that. They'd be like, who are you? You sound fake, right? So <laughs> I'm jumping ahead of myself, but uh, this is don't sound like everyone else. Okay. So <clears throat> here's the thing. This just isn't just in the language that you use, but this is also kind of like if you have a way to say things in your own words, a way to create your own signature approach, your own signature style. Uh, if there's things that everybody else believes, but you believe the opposite, those are the things you need to be telling people about, the things that set you apart, okay? So uh, for example, for me, one of my things is that I don't believe in telling introverts to get visible, okay? Uh, I think that that actually keeps introverts more in their head and makes them feel invisible. And I think that maybe if you just get them to focus on helping people, who can I help today, that flips the script totally, removes anxiety, things like that. And then they don't have to worry about getting um, on video. And I know this because this helped me because <laughs> I am uh, an introvert and uh, I used to be a video coach for introverts. And uh, yeah, now I'm doing client attraction. So here's the thing, this whole, you know, taking a stand, being different, don't just be different to be different, like pick the things that you really believe in, that, that worked for you, that you have some experience in, but, you know, don't just sound like everyone else, don't just say the same words, that kind of thing. So my second tip, showcasing your personality. Now, my introverts, don't freak out, okay? <laughs> this doesn't mean that you need Oh, excuse me, you need to dye your hair pink and be all, look at me, look at me, that kind of stuff. Although it certainly feels like you might have to in this day and age, right? But what I mean by this is you can actually sort of like just inject little bits of your personality into what you're doing. So, uh, you know, I'm sure we've all had this, you've been writing an email or something and you know, you write something that you think's funny and you think, oh, they probably won't get it and just go delete, delete, delete. Well, I'm kind of encouraging you to leave those in a bit more, okay? Things like me, when I'm recording these videos, I kind of have these thoughts like, uh, I think I had one last week where I talked about how this thing gave me an idea for, for a photo, the whole war and creativity thing. And 
uh, you know, I talked about that and, and I'm going to leave that in there, right? Obviously, I just recorded it before now, but <laughs> you've seen it a week ago. And, and I'm going to leave that in there because it gives you an idea about my personality, my approach, my weird sense of humor and things like that. And you don't have to have a sense of humor to, to let this out, but just those kinds of things. It's like you kind of have to, especially as an introvert, either like imagine that you are hanging out with somebody who knows you really well, which I know is hard. Uh, you know, pretend you're talking to a really good friend at coffee and then create content like that's what I used to do. Or uh, another thing is pretend someone's just asked you a question about what you do and then you're replying to them. And then as part of that, you could sort of say, hey, you know, and this is my my unique way of looking at things. Right. Some of that stuff. Other things you can do to sort of uh, put your personality into things is showing behind the scenes, showing your approach to life, that kind of thing. Just be careful, though, like if you're an, an organization coach, you don't want to show how you lose your keys all the time, probably, okay? Unless that's something that your clients also do, right? <laughs> but, but they're kind of coming to you for the answer so they don't lose their keys all the time. So, um, you know, and we all have our failings. You don't have to be a perfect person, but you know what I'm saying? There's always ways to showcase your personality. Like I remember when I was first in the online space and getting to know people, I'd sort of share this like weird funny fact about how uh, I always wear odd socks. It's not the case anymore because now I'm organized and I don't. <laughs> but I used to always wear odd socks and so I'd be like, you know, hey, I'm Tiffany, I'm from Australia and, uh, you know, I'm a photographer and I wear odd socks every day, you know. Just this weird funny fact, right? So I know it's hard to work that into your content, but it's sort of like, yeah, it's, it's sort of showing those uh, anecdotes or, or relating it to a story about yourself if you're teaching something if you can relate it back to a story about yourself at times, you can let bits of your personality through and just relax. My number three thing is to be a brave original. And this is uh, sort of the biggest thing that I help my clients with, with their uh, client attraction strategy. I help my clients with their clients. And, okay. <laughs> uh, but this whole thing of being a brave original. Okay. So, I have this story to tell you actually before I dive into the, the guts of this and I've told it before but I just I really like it I think this is really great visual and that's this story about these people who were at a festival and they were all sort of sitting around and whatever and they're chilling out they're having fun it's a festival music festival and then this one guy gets up you know there's 100 200 people around and he gets up and he just starts dancing just going for it right and I mean like, you know, you know, he's at a festival, so he doesn't really care what anybody thinks about him and he's just going for it, whatever. He's dancing on his own for a good 15 or 20 minutes before another person comes and joins him and then starts dancing, right? And then, you know, five or 10 minutes later, another person joins and then, you know, a little bit later, another person, and then we start getting critical mass of people coming over and joining. And then we have a whole group mob of everybody dancing or majority of people who are dancing now. And this is kind of the things that we have to go through in online business, right? Uh, we have to be okay with being that person who's dancing on their own for a while, okay? So, and, and that's the thing, like, <laughs> we're sober, <laughs> right? We're not at a festival enjoying ourselves, right? So we have to actually uh, work on how to be okay with being outside of the crowd and being on our own for a while until our people are attracted to us and then we end up with this group and this bond and, and all that and people who follow you and part of your community, etc. So with, with all that being said, it's just a case of, hey, um, you know, this is what we need to do in our businesses to be brave enough to be outside of the group and to be original enough, so those those other points that I was talking about, you know, showing your personality and talking about things differently, having a different approach, having something, you know, new to say or saying it in a different or, or new way, a new approach perhaps, that then can help you to stand out from the crowd. So these are my three ways of standing out from the crowd. Uh, number one, don't sound like everyone else. Number two is... Uh, show a little bit of your personality and you can do this even as an introvert, right? Show, show a behind the scenes shot every now and then. 
And then number three is to be a brave original. And that's the stuff that I help my clients to do. And if that's something you want to know more about, then uh, let me know below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you now. Like, what things are you doing in your business to be a brave original? What things could you be doing if you were a little bit braver? Oh, that'd be an interesting conversation. I would love to hear from you. You know, uh, what, how are you injecting personality into your business right now? Let me know. I'd love to chat with you. It'd be great to hear from you. That's it. Thank you so much for your time today. <laughs> That's it from me. Uh, I'm Tiffany from Tiffany G Studios. Bye for now.